Hello, and welcome to the next chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills with PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. In today's lesson, we're going to create a photo with our own custom point of focus. Oftentimes, you have a photo where you would like to create more emphasis on the foreground subject over the background. This is often done by making the background a little, or a lot, blurry while keeping the foreground subject in focus. Corel's PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate provides the tools you can use to accurately create this effect in just a few steps by utilizing the freehand selection tools, layers palette, and blur effects. Although PaintShop Pro Photo X2 also has a depth of field feature that is quicker and easier to use in some situations, this method will allow us to make a more accurate selection of our primary subject. So let's get started. First, I've opened up an image that has a subject I would like to isolate or keep in focus from the background, but I still want the background to have a positive effect on the photo, so I don't want it completely out of focus. I'm first going to use the freehand selection tool to select the boy. PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate's freehand selection tool lets you create a selection around the edges of an object, such as petals of a flower or fingers on a hand. You can make four types of selection with the freehand tool. Edge Seeker finds the edges between two areas with color differences when you click on the edges of irregularly shaped areas. Freehand lets you quickly select an area by simply drawing around the area you want. Point to Point lets you draw straight lines between points to create a selection with straight edges. Smart Edge automatically finds the edges of irregularly shaped areas when you click along the edges. This is the one we're going to use in this lesson. Before I make my selection, I would duplicate the background layer by right-clicking on it and choosing Duplicate, and then double-clicking on the copy and renaming it. Now I'll use a Smart Edge to make the boy a selection. I'm also going to make sure I have a slight feathered edge so the transition between the foreground and the background is not quite so harsh. I will then double click at the end to close the loop. Now I will right click on the boy layer and choose new mask layer show selection. This creates a mask layer that will allow whatever I do to the background layer to show through except for the selection I made of the boy. I'll now turn off the marching ants by doing Control D and select the background layer again. I'll now go to Adjust, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now Gaussian Blur tends to be rather dramatic, so I've lowered the settings to about 4 and I'll now click OK. And there we have it, another great photo. Thanks again, and we'll see you in our next chapter.